Hi, I'm Kevin. And I'm Gretchen. And, and this, this is Control Alt Delete RV. Today we'll be sharing our trip with you to the Jack Daniels Distillery. A great place with a great whiskey. Stay tuned. Hello, we're glad you're here. If you're a fan of whiskey, curious about whiskey, or just enjoy the history of an American staple, then you're in for a treat with a visit to the Jack Daniels Distillery in Lynchburg, Tennessee. We had the opportunity to visit the distillery while we were on contract in Nashville. Uh, it was about an hour and a half drive to get there from where we were staying. Nice scenic drive through the country, windy country roads. Uh, they have several tours that you can choose from. Uh, we did the Angel Share tour, and that did include a tasting at the end of the walking portion of the tour. <laughs> um, altogether, I think it took about two hours to complete the tour. Yeah, it was actually a pretty good tour. A group of us was about 8 to 12. One tour guide with us answers pretty much any questions you might have or anything like that. Very knowledgeable guy. Most of them have been at the distillery their entire life. It's not a job you leave. <laughs> no. So upon our arrival to the Jack Daniels distillery, it's really kind of hidden. It's one of those places that you'd actually drive right by if they didn't have the signs up telling you that that's where it was at. It sits back off the road. You don't notice it. Uniquely tucked into the hills that it's part of. Absolutely gorgeous place once you get in there. Uh, from the Welcome Center, to the welcome area. Everything's just done in a nice... Classy country. Is that a thing? Sure. Once you get into the welcome center, uh, they have, of course, that's where you purchase the tours that you want to take uh, and get your wristbands. But they've got a lot of uh, pictures hanging on the wall with lots of different little pieces of history with, you know, how the how the company got started and uh, Uncle Nearest, which if any of you are familiar, you might have heard of Uncle Nearest, who is the guy that actually taught Jack Daniels how to distill whiskey. And then also in the Welcome Center, they also have their bottle shop because the county that Jack Daniels Distillery is located in is a dry county. Uh, no alcohol sales allowed there. So how they get around this little problem is they don't sell you the whiskey they sell you the bottles and they give you the whiskey for free free whiskey good stuff <laughs> the bottles can be a little expensive so little part of the tour includes several buildings that are on site that are part of the process of actually making the whiskey all the jack daniels made for everywhere in the world comes out of this one site they only have one distillery. And it's right there in Lynchburg, Tennessee. It's the only place in the world where the spring exists that the water comes from for Jack Daniels. The bottling premises, the still house, the grain mill. Because as you're standing there, every drop of Jack Daniels in the world is being made right there in front of you. Now, because it was still in the height of the COVID stuff, we weren't allowed to go in all of those buildings. Uh, they just didn't want people going in and out. So interesting fact about the bottling premises was it's got bars on all the windows. I want to say until the mid 80s, there was actually a tax auditor that sat in that building and controlled who went in and out of the building. That's the mid 1980s. This was to ensure that nobody was stealing liquor, that the taxes hadn't been paid on yet. So they actually had a tax collector's office across from the entrance to the bottling facility as well. It's no longer done this way. Everything's done electronically now. They no longer sit there and they no longer lock people in the building for your shift. They literally locked them inside the building for their shift and then when a shift change happened, they inspected everybody as they came in and out. Also on the property, one of the buildings that is still there is the original office that was there when they started the, the distillery. Uh, they had all kinds of 
different artifacts, uh, framed pictures on the wall. Uh, I believe the deed was there hanging right. on the wall. Uh, the office sits right out in front of, what is it called? Cave Hollow Springs. Cave Hollow Springs, uh, which is the cave and the spring where the water supply comes from. And then they've erected a, a statue of Jack Daniels there in front of the, the opening to the, to the cave. Interesting thing about the spring is that's the reason that, that Jack Daniels bought that specific property. The water stays at a constant 52 degrees year round you know, and it's filtered through natural limestone. And that still flows today and they still draw water from there to the main facility to make all the whiskey that's made today. Uh, it's really neat and it's a nice break to cool off if it's a hot day back by the spring definitely cooler back in there a whole lot cooler <laughs> as you continue along the tour come across the original fire department because of what jack daniels makes whiskey alcohol it's flammable very they don't have a local fire department large enough to fight and extinguish a fire if one of the barrel houses were to catch on fire so jack daniels actually staffs and operates its own jack daniels fire department on location. Yeah, you're talking thousands of gallons of whiskey, which is all very flammable, that are housed in several barrel houses across the property, and they, they keep them at a certain distance apart from one another, so that way if one would catch on fire, it's not going to, you know, carry on and catch all the others on fire as well to try to contain it a bit more. It's really kind of neat, too, because you look up in the hills around the distillery, and you can see the tops of multiple barrel houses. There's like one over here, there's one over there, there's one up here, there's one down there. They're just kind of sporadically placed wherever there was flat enough land to put a barrel house. Another cool spot on the tour was where they burn all the sugar maple to make the charcoal that the whiskey actually runs through. A controlled process for burning. And I think at the time they said they had three gentlemen that worked at Jack Daniels that actually did this process. And those were the only three that could burn the sugar maple to make the charcoal. They've actually got it down to a science. Oh yeah. Yeah, they definitely have it down to a, a very distinct science, like how long it needs to burn to get the correct size of charcoal that they want to filter the whiskey through. An interesting fact that our tour guide actually told us was a lot of times sons and daughters take fathers and mothers places Their as jobs. people retire and move on definitely a family affair and that's how they interact with each other it's, it's almost one giant family that works at jack daniels it's really cool to see a company that operates that way so the next stop on the tour is to one of the barrel houses that is you know more centrally located on the property and you walk in there and it's the most beautiful smell you can ever imagine if you're a whiskey lover just the smell of wood and whiskey and like barrels like 30 foot above your head just stacks upon stacks of barrels it was awesome <laughs> very awesome and that's actually where we did the tasting they had some a little area set up with tables um, and they had you kind of separate off and sit but they were very specific as you were going through the tasting and they told you that there are cameras on you because they are in a dry county uh, they're very specific with the amount of whiskey that they measure out for each you know you know little cup different parts of the tasting sample that's the word I'm looking for sample of the tasting with the sampling we got to try five different samples of Jack Daniels uh, they had some rye some single batch what they call their Sinatra. So there was five in total. Very limited amounts, but they went ahead and broke down what the flavor profiles and the aging process and all that for you prior to each sample you took. So the very last stop on the tour, once you complete the tasting, is that of course they want you to go through the bottle shop where you buy your bottle and they give you free whiskey in it. Uh, they have, of course, all the types that they make that you can purchase. Um, they have like collector glasses and things that you can't buy at the regular store. Uh, and you can have like your name etched into it and even on the bottles of whiskey that you purchase. 
depending on the bottle, I suppose. We got like a big souvenir bottle of the Sinatra whiskey because we really liked it. So think gift shop kind of set up because it is, but it's also their bottle shop. So t-shirts, hats, souvenirs, stuff like that you're going to find there at the end of the tour. Of course, all the bottles with all the great Jack Daniel whiskeys in them you'll find there. When you leave the Jack Daniels Distillery itself, you're going to want to make sure you swing over to the actual small town of Lynchburg, Tennessee. And it's your normal small town. Very easy to walk it. You don't need to drive around. You can just walk from place to place. You could probably spend another hour or so over there. A lot of small shops, a lot more Jack Daniels stuff. We hope you've enjoyed this little look inside one of the awesome places we've been able to visit on our journey. And thanks for following along with us on this Life Rebooted. Look forward to more videos coming soon, and don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.